What's up guys and welcome back to some Modern Warfare gameplay. I've got quite a bit of it for you all today, so I hope you guys have been enjoying and I uh, hope you guys want even more. So in this video, we are going to be checking out something kind of cool. This is 10v10 Headquarters. You guys heard that right. So first of all, Headquarters is back. That's a mode that we have not seen in a few years. And um, I mean, that's kind of exciting. It's a pretty cool objective mode from back in the day. I wouldn't say it was like my favorite, but it was definitely a lot of fun. Like I, I did enjoy playing it from time to time. So that's a good thing. And then also 10v10, which is kind of exciting. So we've actually got some pretty weird things going on in terms of the team sizes in this game. And when I say weird, I, I just mean like different, like unique. And I think that's a good thing. So we've got the 2v2 gun fight mode, we've got 6v6 normal game modes, we've got 10v10 here which we have HQ in and maybe some other game modes, I'm not sure, and then we've also got some 20v20 modes, which I've got videos coming out later, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that, but um, 10v10 is, you know, we, we've kind of seen that before, we have seen ground war in some games a long time ago where it was 9v9, but um, I, I wouldn't say that this is too similar, I mean, Ground War, it was just like more players on the same maps, so the maps felt smaller, they felt more action-packed, and there was more action going on, which I always really enjoyed. With this 10v10 and then also the 20v20 map, they made the maps bigger. So like even though you have more people than a normal 6v6, it's on a significantly bigger map so it doesn't feel like there's more people. I guess the 10v10 kind of did a little bit. The 20v20 definitely didn't. The 20v20 felt like a battlefield map. But uh, in this one, since we were playing headquarters and there was like a unified objective that everybody was constantly fighting over, that made it feel a little bit more high action than it would have otherwise. If you're playing TDM, I don't think it would at all, but because everybody, you have 10 people on each side constantly pushing this objective, that's what made it really, really fun. So yeah, that's pretty much the rundown of this mode. I honestly really, really enjoyed it. When they first announced in the press conference before we played that there was a 10v10 and a 20v20 map, I was really excited. I like pushing the boundary like that. I like, you know, having more action and more things to shoot at and more things going on on the screen. So the 10v10 definitely did that. The 20v20 did not at all. That was one of my least favorite things I've ever done in COD. But uh, the 10v10 was pretty cool. So hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to Activision for the invite. Make sure you guys check out that control free giveaway down in the description. And then also, this gameplay is not all mine. A lot of it is, but uh, I also shared it with some friends. So I'm going to link them down below. Make sure you guys check them out. Just wanted to get you a lot of different angles and weapons and game styles and stuff. So anyway, enjoy the gameplay.
Allied UAV overhead.